So YouTube got me a data science job. It's pretty crazy, right? What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is McKay, and on the channel we talk about all things about data science, data analytics, data visualization. Basically, if it has data in it, we're talking about it. Today, I wanna to talk about how YouTube got me a job in data science. Now, when I say YouTube got me a job, I should clarify that I didn't get a job at YouTube, and YouTube didn't, like YouTube the company didn't help me get a job, but rather my YouTube channel from posting on YouTube was one of the main reasons that I was able to get a data science job. So you're probably wondering and sitting there like, okay, well that's cool, but how did your channel actually help you get the job? If you've been following my channel for a while now, I've been doing this for about six months and I've been posting a lot of content and tutorials based around my favorite sport, soccer, and as well, just kind of tutorials on how to do analytics and data science work in like kind of the soccer analytics field. And by publishing my work, it's kind of been the catalyst of how I've been able to get this job. A friend that I had in high school, he started up a company, it's a data as a service company, and basically, they were looking for a data scientist, somebody to come on and help with their data team. So I'm the first employee to go on with this actual company and I'll be doing data science work, including things such as building out machine learning models, managing databases, on AWS and as well doing some other things to collect and process data. But this friend, he had seen my YouTube channel, he had seen some of the stuff that I had put out and he said, hey, this is kind of the skill set that we're looking for to be able to grow and expand. So he invited me to come and start working for the company and kind of help them with their data science process. So I'm officially working for them now as a data scientist and helping them expand the company and we're hoping to bring on even more data scientists, which will be a really cool adventure to go on. But for me, this is really cool because this is one thing that I've been preaching a lot about, about kind of putting your work in public and good opportunities will come. The more I see people put their work out in public, I mean, myself included, but I've seen a lot of people within, you know, sports analytics community that I'm really active in. I've seen a lot of people put out their work and reap the benefits of it. And that's kind of how this YouTube channel got me the job. It's how other people have gotten job, whether it's been through like a blog or a Twitter channel or a YouTube channel or a podcast. Even a lot of people have been able to create work and create projects and then reap the benefits of a, either A, developing their skills or B, being able to monetize and either receive a career or be paid with the things that they're creating. So that's why I'm really big on one, doing projects, but as well publishing those projects. So you can kind of get feedback on all of those things that you're creating. And the cool thing about getting a job from my YouTube channel is that I really wasn't planning on doing this as a full-time career. It was more of just a hobby, something that I started during the pandemic and something that I wanted to use to be able to show and and something that I wanted to use to be able to show my projects that I worked on as well as be able to teach others, which is something that I really like doing and helping others kind of get started with sports analytics and data science. My advice from this video is that if you are serious about data science, that you really need to start publishing your work and start building out a portfolio. You really need to start working on projects and publishing them out there and you're gonna get presented with a lot more opportunities than if you just sit on LinkedIn and just hit apply, 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 because I did that. I didn't hear back from anybody and the ones, I mean, even if I did hear back, it was thanks for applying and taking time to apply, but yada, 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 your skill set is great. And but we're going with someone else. It's really hard for employers to know your actual skill set if you haven't built out a portfolio or some kind of project and you haven't been publishing them. And that really just gives you the upper hand, which is what you should be trying to do, especially in such a competitive field as data science. And it can be scary to go out and build projects and go publish them, especially if you're just beginning. Being able to publish your work really is kind of the secret, I think, to being able to have an advantage. It's kind of a secret advantage and it's going to only get more saturated as time goes on. So be sure to get an early lead and start publishing your work. Thanks everybody for watching this video. I'm really excited to be able to start my data science career and share even more things that I learned about data science and what it's like to actually have a data science job. But if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button as it really helps out the channel and the algorithm loves it. And since we are data scientists here, we love algorithms. So be sure to do that and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.